G'day, this is Captain Noob. Wastelanders is out. Cool. This is the first weapon I've got. This is the Vats Unknown. This is a alien blaster with the medics prefix 50% more critical damage in Vats, and we're filling our critical bar 15% faster. Very good for a lucky gunslinger build, isn't it? Well, we'll see. The alien blaster has a lot of problems, which may trigger me into going into rant mode further on, but anyway, so we've got this thing set up with a long barrel um, that's at attached there by default. I've got a sharpshooter's grip that's also attached there by default. Fusion mag you can actually get plans for which makes no sense because why would anyone make plans for a weapon that is you know clearly not designed to be like it's not, it's not, not of this world aliens drop this off here but people know how to put fusion mags in it that's kind of weird but we'll overlook that I've got a short scope the iron sights on this are terrible so managed to find one where they usually spawn and scrap it and I got the short scope which is nice it'll give us a slightly better sight picture than we would with it usually and the default appearance because I'm not paying Adams in real life money to make this thing look different it's terrible enough as it is 20 whole damage with the uh, energy damage so that's like 10 damage I guess it's it's gonna be rough but anyways um that's just kind of what it's like uh, this thing is boosted by gunslinger so that's nice um, there's also another thing that it can't do which I'll get to uh, in a second, but it's not going to be a good video. To start off the Wastelander stuff, I've already chosen one of the worst options, and now we're doing 37 damage. We almost doubled it. It is a medic's weapon, however, and it'll probably heal us extremely quickly, so I will go into Nerd Rage, which will give us 50% damage from Adrenal Reaction, at least if they didn't change it. I don't think they did, right? Also, yeah, the extra 20% from Nerd Rage. I'll just see when it happens. Okay, so now we're in the uh, nerd rage again, and a big fuck you to everyone who said that bloodied builds were being nerfed. They aren't. They were buffed, because with the stats like these, I can pass whatever speech checks that things can throw at me. Unless they're endurance, which I've encountered none so far, so yeah. Suck on that. Okay, so here we are at I can't believe I spent two hours actually trying to obtain this weapon And if you want to see the guide to actually get this um tears got one I'm too lazy and honestly, you know a full-time job is you know stopping me from making these guides But honestly, that's not really my thing I just want to rate the performance of weapons and the alien blaster uh, Well, I've wanted to rant about this for ages because it's uh, incapable of doing one very very super important thing if I shoot this guy, and I gotta get in close because the projectiles move about the speed of, I don't know. I reckon I could sprint faster these in these projectiles in real life. I can't sneak crit. I can't sneak crit with this thing. This weapon is pointless. What am I doing? Now, I got to thinking, okay, what could be the point of a weapon that hits for basically nothing but you can spam it like this and get crits all the time. And I hit the light bulb. Um, it's a support weapon. It's a support weapon. All signs are pointing to it. It's got shit damage, so you can just maximize crit spamming. I feel like it is suppressed because I'm getting... You know, I'm in caution right now. There's so much potential. This weapon suppressed, damn it. And I can't get sneak criticals with it. I'm pretty sure it was suppressed in Fallout 4 as well. But look at these projectile speeds. Mixed with the uh, lame-ass netcode of this game, sometimes, uh, sometimes you just don't get it. Um, yeah. Um, since the projectiles are so slow, they'll actually kind of bend it like Beckham on the way in, which is, I guess, it's kind of neat. But I'd rather have a hit scan projectile thing. See, if the XCOM aliens were armed with these bad boys, they wouldn't have even won the first invasion. They would have just got cut down by shotguns. And even with my small boost of adrenaline, it's not too much, but not even hitting 100 damage yet. I could with a critical, you see, but, you know, even if we were to actually utilize sneak attack criticals to get, like, 160, that would be better. I mean, because at least this thing's got the rate of fire to actually help it out, right? But it's just so bad. The fact that I spent ages, so, it's such a long quest, and the quest to get it is really boring. It's just fetch quest upon fetch quest, and you talk to her in between it, which, you know, character stuff is nice because... Yeah, we haven't seen that, and anything is good when it comes to NPCs and characters in this game because they weren't here from launch, you see. But, you know, you gotta draw a line. It's. Ugh, fuck, it's not really that worth it. I kind of wish I'd just played XCOM 2 instead. I'll play XCOM 2 after this, that's for sure, but, uh. Yeah, I'm not enjoying it. I'm just a bad weapon, and, you know. First off, the Wasteland is cool, and what? Why didn't they fix this? Maybe I didn't complain about it enough, but fucking hell. 
Like, they could get Snake Criticals back in Fallout 4, and you could probably use them with a 4.4 times multiplier. They've, the Alien Blast has been progressively getting worse since Fallout 3, I guess, because, um, well, in New Vegas they did okay-ish, but the fact that you had to activate this stupid Wild Wasteland trait means you won't get access to the YCS unique Gauss Rifle, so why? Pointless. In Fallout 3, it was like guaranteed criticals, I think. It's something crazy like that. There was a whole lot of fun to use. In Fallout 4, it's, it looks the same. It performs slightly better, but, you know, like I said, it's just stuff here. Also, what? I'm going to turn off all of these quests, actually. That's annoying to see those quest markers. But I saw some friendly NPC dots. What the hell's happening here? They're friendly super mutants, because um, I'm going to blow their heads off if they're even if they even think about being a super mutant in my presence. So I won't do too many spoilers for the um, quest lines, um, but I've got a couple of thoughts on Wastelanders. It's good. It's pretty good. It's a huge step up. It's a step in the right direction, and had this game had of released with the Wastelanders content, it would, wouldn't have been absolutely trashed by everyone who had a microphone and a keyboard and a fucking monitor, you know? It's low-hanging fruit. You just, you kind of see the criticism all the time. It's like, okay. No one really had anything new to say. But, you know, maybe all the normies would flock back to Fallout 76. Now you can talk to people. So, even without... Yeah, 25 damage. 25 whole damage on the Super Mutants. I'm just going to cut it off here because... Why? Also, he bashed me, but there was no animation to play, but whatever. So, I'm kind of seeing a pattern here with some of the weapons in this game. It's usually the really bad ones, though, but some of them just aren't able to get sneak criticals, and it's usually the ones that aren't hit scan. Missile launcher, completely incapable. Uh, the Fat Man, I, you know, I don't even bother testing it because it's just a shit weapon and a complete waste of time, but probably you can't get sneak criticals with it. I don't know, I'll need a verification on that. That's why I say probably. If anyone wants to tell me if it can, email me at I don't actually give a fuck.com. Here's what I give a fuck about slaughtering ghouls. That's fun to do. I like doing this. Unfortunately, every named ghoul that you've come across, you can't mindlessly kill. The, the game doesn't allow you to be, like, super racist, even though I feel like. I, I say racist because that's the white people. They think it's racist when I say I hate ghouls. Fuck off. <laughs> It's usually the... I don't want to sound like a boomer, but it's usually the fucking pathetic snowflakes that get annoyed about you not liking these races. Like, if I see a friendly super mutant, I want to shoot them. All of my characters in this game have been doing nothing but slaughtering mountains upon mountains of them. Like, if you stack up their corpses, there'd be mountains of them, right? That's what I'm getting at. Why can I not have a little bit of skepticism towards any of them that pretend to be friendly? I don't want to hear shit about Graham either. He's totally different. He's just a novelty trader that people usually post on Discord and spam you to. That got old pretty quickly. And yeah, this thing's a piece of shit. Let's not even finish off the rest of the tools. You win this day. I'll come back with something better tomorrow. If I want to play this tomorrow. My boy Swan better still be in this game or I'm going to whoop your ass, Todd. Oh, we Oh, shit. Oh, shit, he's coming out to play now. Oh, I've picked the wrong weapon for this. Also, I'd like to point out that um, I'm doing more damage with Becca's fists than this you know, high-tech energy weapon that was, you know, the aliens brought to us. They've perfected space travel. They've traveled to Earth from God knows where, but the energy guns still do less damage than a black woman's fists. I think I've said enough about this weapon. It is absolutely terrible. Thanks for the 40 cents, Todd Howard. I guess I won't be stomping your brains out today, but I'm done with this thing. It is garbage. It is a waste of time. I can't believe I spent two, maybe even three hours if you tally it all up, trying to get this going through the quest line. I'm just wasting my time. Anyways, um, there's how I rate this weapon. I rate it um, 40 out of 40 script. It's, it's, it's fucking garbage. Yeah, I wouldn't bother with this one. Hang it on the wall. Novelty weapon. There you go. Don't ever buy the paint for it either. That's just a waste of time. Imagine, like, I don't know. You, you don't paint your... 
uh, I don't know, Pop Funko, because it's like polishing a turd, right? There goes my Pop Funko. <laughs> Ironically, that's my still my channel thing, but yeah, I'm not continuing. I don't want to, you know, beat my head into the goddamn desk out of frustration when I'm done with this. I think you get the point too. See you later. Thank you for watching, and hopefully Wastelanders gives us something better next time, right?